Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel GKR Soft. In this video, we are going to discuss the difference between trusted and non-trusted OS application. In our previous video, we discussed about the OS application with the all configuration parameters. I have mentioned the link in the description. You can watch it. So what is trusted and non-trusted OS application? In Autosar OS, the concept of trusted and non-trusted OS application is introduced primarily to support partition software architecture and enhance safety and security. Especially relevant in Autosar safety extension, scalability class 1 to 4 and multi-core environments. So first we can start it with trusted OS application. So trusted OS application means it has unrestricted access to all OS services and system resources. The best use cases, critical software components like watchdog handling, safety core services. According to the memory access, trusted OS application can access entire memory space within ECU. And it has a full access to OS services, example schedule, in reps, IOC. According to protection mechanism, it will run without special runtime check. And also it will run in supervisor mode. That's called as privileged mode. In your configuration, if you will see OS trusted configuration parameter, if it is configured with true, that means the particular OS application is configured as a trusted OS application. Then what is non-trusted OS application? This access to OS services and resources is restricted by protection mechanism. The best use cases, less critical or third party software. And it has a limited to its own memory partition. And it has restricted access. Some services may require trusted function called wrappers. According to protection mechanism, this will require runtime checks and calls also are monitored. And this will run in user mode. That's called as unprivileged or non-privileged mode. What will happen if a non-trusted application misbehaves? The same topic we discussed in our previous video also. Immediately operating system will call the protection hook. As a user, you can also choose action like you can ignore the fault or terminate the OS application or you will shut down the entire ECU. So now when to use trusted and non-trusted OS application? If you have a safety critical requirement, then we are recommending to use trusted OS application. So when you are coming up with a third party supplied or less trusted logic, then you can use non-trusted OS application. So when it is comes to shared access to peripherals or memory, trusted application should handle shared access and expose API safely. So when it is coming a need for fault containment, then you can use non-trusted with MPU boundaries. I hope you have a clear idea about what is the difference between trusted application and non-trusted application. So I want to cover a little bit summary whatever we discussed till now. So trusted OS application has a full system access for critical functions. But non-trusted OS application is isolated and restricted and safer against fault or malicious code. And design should, choice should reflect safety level, risk assessment and modularity goals. If you like it, please share it with your friends. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.